committed 16 bank robberies over the course of two years, and he was never caught. The geezer bandit robbed 11 banks here in San Diego County. In tonight's True Crime Files report, News 8's David Gopperton speaks to a bank teller who says the geezer bandit wasn't really a geezer. It was always the same M.O. The suspect handed the teller a note that said, basically, give me the money or I'm going to shoot you in the face. The geezer bandit hit 16 banks between 2009 and 2011. He has pointed a weapon at these innocent victim tellers and threatened them with the use of that weapon. Bank teller Melissa Tashira was one of those innocent victims. That's her on the right in 2011 at the Heritage Oaks Bank in Morro Bay. It was me and one other teller. We were the only tellers at the time, and we were right next to each other. The geezer bandit handed a note to the other teller first and pulled out a handgun. He, he didn't seem like he was in a hurry, and I really wanted to press the button, but he had a gun pointed at her, and I, I didn't want to risk anything. Then he turned his attention to Melissa. He said, give me both your drawers. I don't want any dive packs or I'll come back for you. And I said, okay, and I just handed him the money. One detail still stands out in her mind. I know he was wearing a mask um, when he first came in. The color of his face seemed very off. He seemed sick at first when he was far away. And then when, as he got closer, it seemed almost like waxy. And I noticed that there was a circular hole right in the center of the ear. Melissa's account confirms what a News 8 viewer first told us in 2011, that the geezer was wearing a mask, and it looked a lot like a so-called elder mask made by a company in Hollywood. Detectives later served a search warrant on that mask company, seeking the names of all customers who had purchased the old man mask. But apparently, investigators never found their man. Even if the geezer bandit was identified today, he could no longer be charged with a crime. The federal statute of limitations for bank robbery is five years. The geezer bandit crime spree suddenly stopped in December 2011, following his final bank robbery in San Luis Obispo when a red dye pack exploded inside the geezer's money bag. Surveillance video shows him sprinting across the street, further confirming that the geezer was not a geezer at all. Younger, I'd say in his 20s or 30s. I think about this all the time, and I always wondered, you know, what happened? Why did he stop? Who was he? David Godfordson, News 8.